Hi, my name is Renee Tuga from Fimby. I am excited to tell you that my second ebook is going to be released in the next two to three weeks. I'm just finishing it up now, getting it ready to be published. And that is an ebook about meal sized salads, eating a salad as a meal. And I'm going to show you a trick that I've been using uh, for making these salads, and that is spinning lettuce without having a salad spinner. So, well, why don't I have a salad spinner? Well, at home, I have a salad spinner. But for this month, I've been living with my family in a small apartment in the city of Montreal that does not have a salad spinner. And I didn't bring my salad spinner with me when we came here for the month. So I'm having to make do with a cloth bag. Now, you could use a uh, dish towel if you would like, and in which case you would lay out the dish towel put your lettuce in and do the procedure I'm going to show you. However, I have a nice produce bag that, you know, I take shopping with me when I go to get produce. This one is good. I find these cloth ones are good for apples and pears and those kind of fruits. Um, and I'm going to use this bag for spinning my lettuce dry today. So I've already washed my lettuce. This is two heads of lettuce and our family will need two heads of lettuce to make a meal sized salad for our lunch. So I take my bag. Uh, it's best if your bag is a or your dish towel if you're using a dish towel if it's not too tightly woven because what's going to happen is you're going to put wet lettuce in here and you actually you're going to be we're going to be spinning this thing around and we want the water to be able to get out. So if it's really tightly woven, it's not going to spin out as easily. So this, this particular weave is nice. It's, it's not too tight and it lets the water get out. So I'm going to fill my bag. Oops, five second rule. I will fill my cloth bag with lettuce. Now I have two heads here and I find if I do two heads at once it's a little bit too much for my bag to hold and the salad, I should say, the lettuce doesn't get as dry as I would want it to be. We just don't want to have all that water in our salad. Five second rule again. So I, that's about all I'd want to fit in for one spin. And you can see the, the water is starting to drip out. Now this is the fun part, and you want to make sure that there aren't people around because they would get a little shower. So you take your bag, like I said you could also use a dish towel, and in which case you'd, you would be laying it out and then you draw up the four corners and you could hold it like that. This is easier though. And I'm going to give it a spin. And shake. Oh, and then sometimes I'll spin the other way. So my left arm is not as strong. So I'm going to go back to my right. I'm going to spin it. And a lot of water goes out of the bag. Some just stays in the bag. And then when I'm done with this, when I take it into the kitchen and I rip it up to make our salad, I just come and hang the bag, bag on the line and it gets dry and it's ready for the next time. So this is a really uh, easy trick for easy, simple, inexpensive trick for drying lettuce if you don't have a salad spinner at your disposal. So you could use this if you're traveling, which we are right now, if you're camping and you're you know, eating salad while you're camping or any other time that you don't have you know, a full kitchen and all the kitchen tools that you're used to using at your disposal. Just a reminder that my new ebook will be coming out in a couple weeks, so look for it. It's a book all about meal-sized salads, and this is the technique that I have been using this month while we're eating these meal-sized salads for getting my lettuce ready.